Hey there guys, Pajama Prepper here, KC1CWP. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to be doing a, a quick unboxing of the uh, Kenwood THK20A. This is a 2 meter movable transceiver, or handheld transceiver. And I uh, got this from DX Engineering. I uh, ordered it on, was it Saturday night? It shipped uh, Monday and got here today, Wednesday. Uh, by the way, I've got all my transceivers so far, except for the Balfangs from DX Engineering. And they do a really good job with packing. Everything's arrived here intact, uh, packed very well. And it also arrives promptly if you do the uh, free shipping, which you get if you place an order over $99. You know, they, uh, I paid uh, for the stuff I got the other week, the uh, Signal Link and all that other stuff. Uh, I did the uh, $19 overnight, and I might as well just on the free shipping. It actually got here in the same amount of time. So, um, but uh, if you want to rush it, it's up to you. But uh, yeah, let's get to this. Um, nice cardboard box, very simple design. Good view of the radio kind of gives you an idea. Now, the reason I bought this was based on some reviews on uh, some websites as well as forums. I've done a lot of research before I picked a handheld. I really wanted to just go with a two meter. I've right, got some literature here, a pretty thick instruction. Oh, there's three different books, never mind. Warranty card, and uh, we'll go through that in a minute and see what those are. And that box. It's a nice size unit. I don't like the small ones. Like, I was looking at the Yezu, but it's like such a tiny handheld. I was like, eh, I don't want that. All right. We got a battery. We have the handheld transceiver, and they're all wrapped in plastic things too, which is good. Got the uh, clip here, the charger, nice charger, feels heavy duty, feels good. And uh, the wall art to plug in the charger. And then, last but not least, the rubber ducky antenna. I'm going to upgrade this eventually. I'm not sure what to yet, but it's a different connector, so uh, let's, let's see what type of connector is this. Is that an SMA? I don't know. It looks like it is. Different type of a... Uh... But alright, so what I'm going to do now is let's get the uh, handheld out of the bag here. Let's put the camera down for a minute. Move the box. Nice, oh, got some good weight to it. It's plastic, but this is a mill standard radio. It's built to some good specifications. Battery looks nice. Kenwood, this is a uh, 8.4 watt lithium ion. Uh, well, 7.4 volts, uh, 1130 ma battery. Recycle. I guess what you do is just put that in and, uh, am I doing that correctly? Oh, nope, there we go. Okay. I'm used to, like, the bow finger, you slide it up. Nope. This is what you want to do is put it in the bottom first and then push forward and it clicks in. That's a pretty cool design. And then the battery release. Battery release is right up here. Sorry. I'll do this with better lighting next time. It looks like you just, yeah. Wow, that's really easy. That's awesome. That clips in right there. It's nice. Well, it's got a great feel to it. And then, yeah, it's got the uh, connector up there. Put the antenna. Tighten that. Oh, that looks nice. Then the belt clip. Like that. Again, it's all plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. It actually feels pretty decent. I mean, I think it's okay. This plastic, it, make, it makes it cheaper, you know, manufacturing, I guess, and uh, makes it a little... I, I guess I have to put this on the battery before I put the battery on there. Yep, that's what you got to do. So my only problem with that, because the clip goes on the battery, is that um, it seems that uh, it's definitely a good clip, though. Nice heavy-duty spring and everything. The only, only problem with that would be that if you change batteries, you're going to have to put the clip on it, so it might be a good idea to buy some extra clips. 
Uh, and then we got the charger. Let's see if this has a uh, charge deal that's turned on. Oh, look at that. Power's right on. Because that's a quick change knob there. Again, I still have to go through all the... Uh, still have to go through all the uh, stuff with this to, to get it set. But yeah, nice power's on. It's pretty cool. I like the knob up here. That's definitely good if you don't want to have to punch a frequency or if you want to scroll or scan anything, you know. And it's got the plugs over here. The push the talk button. Yeah, but uh, I'm going to go through the manual now and uh, see how it is. I'm going to get it on the charger, and uh, then once it's fully charged, I'll do another video later on on uh, how well it works. So yeah, definitely a nice radio. And uh, for the price, it was 130 something but I had a, a $20 DX bucks, like a gift credit, I guess you could say. And so that got it to like 114 and with free shipping, uh, it was a deal I could not pass up. Uh, but in any case, that's this video. Hope you like it. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, and 73s. Thanks for watching.